Hello, I want to talk about har harmonizing. I want to talk about harmonizing, harmonizing the physical and the spiritual. I want to talk about harmonizing the spiritual and the physical. So, according to A Course in Miracles, nothing real can be threatened and nothing unreal exists. Also, in A Course in Miracles, it, in at least two spots, it states that we are in heaven now. In the Manual for Teachers, in section 24, I believe it is, is reincarnation real? Towards the end, I base, it, it uh, states quite explicitly that we are in heaven now, and that we have not left heaven, as I understand it, as I remember it. And then also, in uh, the clarification for terms under the Jesus Christ section, I believe the very first couple sentences say that we have never left heaven. So that's something to think about. With A Course in Miracles, I would interpret, I would encourage you to interpret it how you feel best. So use critical thinking and don't just listen to some guru when deciding how you should interpret A Course in Miracles. But harmonizing the physical and the spiritual, think about it this way, uh, potentially, if you want to. Um, and actually, before I get to my main point, I will talk about Aikido. Aikido is a spiritual martial art. It's a Japanese martial art. Uh, means the way of harmony, if you roughly translate Aikido into English. And really it's more the way of harmonizing energy. In Aikido, they talk about merging body and mind. So there ends up being no separation between your body and mind. I think another way of phrasing this is merging the spiritual and the physical. In the book, The Art of Peace, uh, one quote by Yushiba uh, basically says something to the effect of in order to establish heaven on earth we need a more perfect Budo that is better able, better able to harmonize the physical and the spiritual. The quote is something to that effect. Uh, read the whole book. It's the long version, the version with the quotes and all the uh, writing and paragraphs before the quotes. There's two versions of the art of peace, if not more. Um, but harmonizing the spiritual and the physical relates to both Aikido and A Course in Miracles as I interpret it and as I understand it. And you are very welcome to interpret it differently. That's totally okay. But harmonizing the spiritual and the physical, um, essentially in my interpretation, in my experience, in my estimation, basically uh, allows you to see things physically and spiritually at the same time. So we can look at things spiritually and see through illusions. Nothing real can be threatened and nothing unreal exists. So like if you're at a job you hate Monday through Friday, you're effectively somewhere that doesn't actually exist on a spiritual level. On a physical level, it seems very real. On a worldly level, it seems very, very real. But on a spiritual level, that isn't true. On the other hand, if you are camping in a forest and having a grand old time, then if it feels like heaven, it effectively is heaven. That might seem weird, but if you are in the middle of a forest having a blissful time and it feels heavenly and you're having non-stop bliss and you're at peace with all those you're with, with yourself, you've effectively merged the spiritual and the physical. That's just one way of looking at it. So I would encourage you to read the book a Course in Miracles. I would encourage you to read the book, The Art of Peace. I would encourage you to come to your own conclusions. I would encourage you to think critically. And I think there will be a time where the spiritual and the physical have been completely merged. But with the separation, the separation of the physical and the spiritual, until they are harmonized fully, we will keep seeing illusions. So the more illusions we dispel, the more the physical and the spiritual have been harmonized and the more truth has been realized. So I don't have much more to say about this right now. I don't feel called to say anything more, but I think it is important to try and see through illusions, to try and to dispel illusions. It's important to try and dispel illusions. Um, it is important to try and have your mind and body become one and to have your spirit and self your spiritual self and your physical self, merge those together. Have your spiritual self be your physical self and have your physical self be your spiritual self. So I think that's something fun to think about. Uh, 
Anyway, I'm going to end up there. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, watch my other videos, visit my website, support me on Patreon, read my books, and have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, or night, whenever and wherever you may be. Cheers.